Hello, hello, Wilson Scholars, and welcome to another episode of BC Calculus with Henry Lombino. Please don't laugh, Liz. Hi, everybody. Say hi to Liz. Liz is here today. Hi. You can't hear her. All right. Um, so uh, we're going to be looking at um, chapter 13.4 uh, today, um, which is the cross product. Uh, and basically, um, this is a uh, the cross product is a way of taking you have the definition of the cross product is um, you're given two vectors and you find another vector that is perpendicular to both those vectors. Also, the magnitude of the cross product is the um, the area of the parallelogram formed by those two vectors. But that's another story. So basically, that's what we're going to be used there. So basically, what you have to remember is that the cross product is the is so you have the cross product of say we have vector v and vector w. It's going to equal the it's going to equal um, the uh, normal vector, which is to say the I'm sorry, not the normal vector. It's going to equal it's going to equal the vector that is um, perpendicular to both of those vectors. So if we had like one that's kind of going this way, one that's going this way, you're going to have one that's par that's perpendicular, going kind of this up this way, that is perpendicular to both of them. That's a bad way of drawing it, but anyway, but you get the idea. So in this, um, so in this problem, uh, we have to find a vector parallel to the line of intersection of the planes given by the equations two x minus three y plus five z equals two and four x plus y minus three z equals seven. So how do we do this? Well, okay, so we're ha we're looking for um, a vector parallel to a line. So what is that line? So we have these our two planes. We have one plane here. This is one plane, and then we have another plane, which is something like that. So we have our two planes right there, and we're trying to find something parallel to this line right here. So that's what we're looking for. So how do we find that? Well, um, well, what we can do is we can find the normal vectors of each of these planes, the vectors parallel to each of these these planes. So we'll have find a vector that goes out here and find a vector that goes out here. And then, so then we have these two vectors. And if we, um, and uh, if we then find the, uh, the cross product of both those vectors, we're going to get this line here. They get this vector here that's uh, perpendicular from both these vectors. And that is going to be parallel to this line here. Now that's kind of that's kind of a hard drawing to understand. But basically, because if you have the two, if you have these two um, perpendicular vectors, they're going to go out at the at the correct angles and then get to a point, and then they're going to get to a point where um, we can then find the cross product, and they're going to equal the same thing. Sorry about that. Tor came by in the writing center, and we had to deal with it. Um, so yeah, so where were we? Oh yes, we were at um, finding the cross product between the vectors. So we have these two vectors that are coming, the two normal vectors which are coming out parallel to the line, uh, parallel to the two planes, and then from using the cross product, we can then find the um, the the uh, cross product vector from both of those, which will which will be then parallel to the line of intersection. So um, so let's solve that out now. So we have. So um, we know by definition that if we have that, um, so in normal, so in, so we have the equation two x minus three y plus five z equals two. So that's uh, I just did. Oop, oop. I just did. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. So um, and we know that the normal vector. So the normal vector for that by definition. Is going so the normal vector for that one we'll do that we'll call this normal one because we're going to have two normal vectors is going to be um, equal to two i minus three j plus five k um, yeah so that's so that's going to be a normal vector because you just use this this and this. And you just basically move them down. That's how you find the normal vector for for any um, for any plane. And then the two is just not important. Um, and then so uh, and then for the other for the other plane, which is 
4x plus y minus 3z equals 7, we get, uh, we get the normal vector 2 is going to be equal to 4i plus j minus 3k. So there are our two normal vectors, and now we just need, and so those are our two normal vectors, and now we just need to find um, the cross product between those two vectors. So we're going to be looking for n1, so we're going to be looking for n1 times n2. Okay, so so how do we do this? So let's, yeah. Okay, so now we now we need to find the cross product between so those two. So how do we find the cross product? What the hell is the cross product? Well, like I said, I gave you like oh it's the oh it's the uh, it's the vector that's parallel to the two vectors, but but that doesn't really matter. We need to know how to calculate it. So um so let me uh, I'm gonna just post out the definition of the um of the cross vector. Give me a second. Okay, so there's our definition of um of the cross product, uh, you can see down here, so um, it down, you can see it, it's right down here. Um, so, yeah, it's long, kind of ugly. It's basically just your standard formula it, when you have the two vectors. You take the different com the uh, different scalars of the different component, uh, components, i, g, and k, and uh, you multiply them together and subtract them from each other as shown, as shown right here. So, um, and that's how you find the uh, the normal vector. So let's um, yeah. So let's let's put it to practice right now. So um, so yeah. So we have so we have our vectors uh, n. So let's go down a little bit. Uh, so we have our vectors n one times n two, and we have those up up here at the top. Um, and so to multiply them across each other. We're gonna be, we're gonna look at this. So first of all, so um, this is actually going into a matrix um, of i, j, and k, and then we take the components of n one, which is which are two, negative three, and five. You can see those up here where the arrows are pointing, and then you take the components of n two down here and do four. 1 and negative 3. And then you multiply them together as seen in here. So I'll do that out. I'll do that out right now. Okay, so that so there you go. I um I just plugged and chugged uh, all those different numbers. Um so I so if you all uh, if you so I hope you guys can see that you just kind of you just you take um the different values from here and you put them into here and then you can see um, they go into how they, and you can see how they go into this equation, like in this equation v two. So, um, in this equation, it would be like, like this would be, yeah. So, like these are the different components. Like this is the component um, right here. This is the component of, uh, of k of j for n one times the component of k for um, n two minus the component of k for n1 times the component of j for n2. So it's it's a bit confusing, but basically, essentially, it's just plugging and chugging, which is actually not that bad to do. And now we can solve out, we and now we can just do our algebra and simplify it down. So we get 9 minus 5 times i plus, um, what is this, 20... Uh, 20 plus 6 down here for j um, plus 2 plus 12. I, I'm canceling out these negatives. I'm canceling out these negatives here and here. That's why it's plus and not minus like over here um, times k. And then we simplify that even more and we get 4i plus 26j plus, uh, yeah, 14k. And there you have it. There and that is our cross product. And therefore, if you go back to the top, like I said down, that is, 
the line, um, that is a vector parallel to the line at the intersection is this right here, and I'm just going to call it vector v. So this is our, that's our final, so that's our final answer. So you can see the dot product, so you can see in this problem, the, um, the cross product is actually pretty cool and um, a lot of, and a lot of, well, and while you have this kind of messy thing you have to plug and chug in, it's an interesting way to kind of use these different, um, these uh, the different equations to find the other vectors and the different vectors to find other vectors and such. So it's just, it's a really handy tool in a lot of, um, in a lot of areas. So, um, yeah, so that's the problem today. Um, yeah, so you just have to understand the, um, the idea of the normal vectors coming out and, uh, and then uh, from the, uh, the different planes and thus they be at a certain location where then they can create, um, where then when you find the cross product, you find the line perpendicular. Hi, everybody. Hey, guys. Bella just showed up in the running center. Hi, Bella. Hey. Um, and so then, then you can, from those normal planes, from those normal vectors, you can find the cross vector, which is going to be par which is going to be parallel to the line of intersection. All right, so um, so that's the problem uh, for today. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, it was a fun time, fun time using our cross products, and there's there's our answer there. And just for the sake of shits and giggles, I'm gonna play you guys a song as we exit out. Hope you enjoy. I did it again, so I'ma let the beat baby, drop. Let me love you down. There's so many ways to love you. Maybe I can break you down. There's so many ways to love you. Got me like, oh my gosh, I'm so.